you need to hire someone to help you, whether it's a home improvement contractor, a plumber, or say a realtor, chances are you check them out first online. But now some people have found themselves the victims of what they call an online review shakedown. Michelle Sloan is a realtor who prides herself on top-notch service. So she was stunned when a potential client emailed to say that they found a terrible review about her online, stating in the email, My only concern is that I have this bad review I found on realtor complaints. I'm thinking bad review. It turned out Sloan had an F rating from a website called RealtorComplaints.com. Stunned, she looked around the site and realized every realtor had the same rating. Everybody had an F rating on the website, which is not good. <laughs> Sloan looked for a way to complain, but soon found that the only way to make the bad rating go away would be to pay big money through PayPal. $100 to remove, $49 to actually make a response to the complaint. What do you think about that? I thought it was pretty dirty. Realtors across the country are calling this a scam. Some have used words like shakedown and extortion. No one has yet found out who's behind the site. It's who is shows it's registered on an offshore island outside the U.S. Michelle Sloan is filing a complaint with PayPal now since the payments go through that company. But she warns every small business owner, whether a contractor, plumber, or realtor, to be on alert for bogus reviews. My reputation online is really important to my business. Now, just over an hour ago, we checked that Realtor Complaint website again, and it has been taken down. You can search for it, but none of the links to it actually work anymore. There is a lesson here for all of us. If you're checking out any type of business online, keep in mind that some negative reviews may be phony. If you stumble upon a bad review, try to find out who posted it and if it was a real customer so you don't waste your money. And certainly on the other flip side of that, yeah. you know, with travel websites, you hear people complain that sometimes there are just glowing reviews yep. posted. And I think that the general thinking is you kind of throw out the super bad ones and the really great ones, and somewhere in the middle the is probably is the truth. truth. In the middle, which is the case for a lot of things besides just revert of reviews, reviews, too, I think, don't That's you? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, so, user beware, I guess, right?